Here's a new video about the features and the operation of the application G Stomper Producer. On this occasion, we will see all the aspects related to the track pattern set and scene set. Let's get started. G Stomper Producer has two main operation modes, pattern operation for live usage. In this mode, you will have full control over the structure of your musical session. This means you initiate all structural changes such as track pattern changes and scene changes manually. Song operation for song creation, composition and playback. In this mode, the song arranger controls the structure of your musical composition. As a matter of course, it is still you who creates your composition using the graphical multi-track song arranger. But the actual track pattern changes and the scene changes will be done by the song arranger during playback, based on your composition. You can toggle between pattern and song operation, even by short-clicking the pattern song selection in the green project info display, or by long pressing the song arranger button. Whilst using the graphical song arranger, the song arranger button turns into mixer. Also, in this stage, you can toggle between pattern and song operation either by short-clicking the pattern song section in the green project information display or by long pressing the mixer button. Let's focus more specifically on the pattern operation. What is the global quantum? G Stomper Producer comes with a dedicated pattern sequencer per track each with a set of 64 track patterns, and each track pattern with independent size and time signature. That way you can, for example, mix a 4x4 kick drum pattern with a triplet open hi-hat at 5-8 pattern and a 3-16 closed hi-hat pattern. All of these patterns can have a different time signature, size and swing configuration. All track patterns and their individual timings are kept in sync by the global sequencer. The global sequencer has its own global timing, specified in beats per cycle. This is what we call the global quantum. The current position of the global sequencer within the global quantum cycle is called the global phase. It is reflected by the global phase process bar in the project information display in the toolbar on top. Having understood this, we are asked the following question. What is the global quantum mainly used for? Even though the global quantum is used in many situations, there are two primary uses, track sequencer synchronization and Ableton link synchronization. Track sequencer synchronization. The global sequencer uses the global quantum beats per cycle to keep all track sequences in sync with the global timing. The global sequenizer synchronizes musical beat, tempo, phase, and start-stop commands across all track sequences, independent from particular track patterns, time, signatures, and measures. While the global sequencer is running, you can stop or start every track sequencer independently while always staying in time. You can schedule scene changes, switch your patterns at once, at the end of a global quantum cycle, independently from the particular track pattern time, signatures, and measures. Ableton Link Synchronization if you join an Ableton Link session, then the global quantum, the beats per cycle, is used as a loop cycle measure to be synchronized with the Ableton Link session. Ableton Link is a technology that synchronizes musical beat, tempo, phase, and start-stop commands across multiple Link-enabled applications running on one or more devices. Applications on devices connected to a local wireless network discover each other automatically and form a musical session in which each participant can perform independently. Anyone can start or stop while still staying in time. Anyone can change the tempo, the others will follow. Anyone can join or leave without disrupting the session. Ableton Link can be enabled in the global sequencer settings. To show up the global sequencer settings, either short-click the red marked areas in the project information display or long press the play button. How to change the global quantum. How to change the global quantum. The global quantum can be changed in the global sequencer settings. To show up the global sequencer settings, either short click in the areas we marked in red in the project information display or long press the play button. 
global quantum is set in beats per cycle and can have one of the following values. What is the global quantum used for in the song arranger? In addition to its technical use for track sequencer synchronization and Ableton link synchronization, the global quantum is also used in the song arranger as a visual help and to snap in and resize song events to logical dimensions. How to change the global quantum in the song arranger? To change the global quantum in the song arranger, simply click Quantum Display in the lower right corner to show up the quantum settings. The global quantum is set in beats per cycle and can have one of the following values. Note that the quantum settings provide quick access buttons for the most common values. Each track in G-Stomper Producer provides its own individual pattern sequencer and pattern set. A track pattern set is a set of up to 64 patterns in one particular track. Those track patterns are bound to a specific audio module instance, which can be a drum sampler, a VAB synth, the send FX rack, the master section or the tempo track. The particular patterns in a track pattern set can be completely different. They can vary in length, time signature, swing, shuffle, automations, in the case of an instrument module in sounds and sequences, and in any other way a pattern can be customised. This means, in other words, each track pattern in each track pattern set can have its own individual timing, which makes the creation of real polyrhythms easier than ever before. Each pattern in a track pattern set is stored in one of 64 pattern slots, which are organised in four banks of 16, A, B, C and D. To switch between the different patterns, simply click one of the pattern slots. This action is called a pattern change. A couple of points. If you do pattern changes while the sequencer is running, then the change will actually be scheduled to the end of the current running pattern. And the second point is that while the global sequencer is running, you can stop and start each individual track sequencer by tapping the currently active pattern slot. In any case, we shall see all these details in greater depth later on. Show hide track pattern sets. To switch between channel strip and pattern set of the one particular track, simply press the mix or pattern button on the top of the mixer channel. To switch your tracks at once, long press mix or pattern instead. Track patterns. Track patterns are the smallest building elements in the G Stromper producer. A track pattern is a short sequence with a max length of 8 bars, where each bar can have a length max of 16 steps. In other words, the max length of a pattern is 128 steps. A track pattern is also bound in a particular track in the G Stomper producer mixer, responding to a specific audio module instance, e.g. a drum sample track. The inner structure of a track pattern, its actual content, depends on the associated track, the underlying audio module instance. In short, track patterns are loop sequences which can, depending on the associated track, contain triggers, notes, automations and sound presets, FX presets and so on. Track patterns are used as building elements for songs or live sessions. A track pattern set can contain a maximum of 64 patterns, four banks of 16, which can be switched by tapping one of the 16 pattern slot buttons. To switch between the banks, click on A, B, C or D. The highlighted or selected pattern slots tell you which pattern is currently active and played if the sequencer is running. This is the pattern you edit on the details page of the associated track.
Track Pattern Slot menu provides all operations for a particular pattern slot. Long press the pattern slot to open the Track Pattern Slot menu. Tab with the selected track and pattern number. When we open the Track Pattern Slot menu, we can see a menu with the following options available. The functionality of each of the options varies depending on whether the sequencer is running or stopped. Select at the end of a running pattern. Running sequencer schedules a pattern change at the end of the running pattern. Stop sequencer executes the pattern change immediately. Select at the end of the running bar. Running sequencer schedules a pattern change at the end of the running bar. Stop sequencer executes the pattern change immediately. Select at the end of the running bar plus keep bar position. Running sequencer schedules a pattern change at the end of the running bar and keeps the bar position. Stop sequencer executes the pattern change immediately. Don't worry if you find these options a little confusing, we'll explain them in more detail later on. Copy. In the track pattern slot menu, we can see a tab called copy. The options shown in this tab are the following. Copy pattern, selective content. Copy the complete pattern or selective content, multiple choice. From one slot to a pattern of your choice, which can be in another track. patterns in the current pattern set. To a subset of patterns in the current pattern set. To a complete pattern bank A, B, C or D. Swap Patterns, Selective Content Swap the complete pattern or selective content multiple choice with another pattern slot. Clear Finally, in the Track Pattern Slot menu, we can see a last tab called Clear. These are the options it shows us. Clear Pattern, Selective Content Clear the complete pattern or selective content multiple choice. Clear pattern sequence. Clear all sequence data of the pattern in the slot. Main sequence and parameter automations. But keep the sound presets, if any. E.g. samples including settings and synthesizer presets. The live track pattern arranger is used to switch between different track patterns or to stop or start a particular track pattern while the global sequencer is running. A switch from one track pattern to another is called a pattern change. A pattern change occurs when you tap one of the pattern slots, load a scene or project from your storage, Copy a pattern from one pattern slot to another, within the same or in another track. Swap a pattern slot with another one, within the same or within another track. Every pattern change will always be beat safe, which means you'll never run into abrupt beat changes. Stop start a particular track pattern. In order to stop or start a particular track pattern, the global sequencer must be running. To stop the running track pattern, simply tap the active track pattern slot. The running track pattern will stop immediately. The track number in the centre of the button will no longer be highlighted to indicate that the track pattern is stopped. To start a stop track pattern, simply tap the activated track pattern slot. A track pattern start in G-Stomper Producer is always quantized, which means it will be scheduled at the end of the running global quantum cycle. 
The schedule state is indicated by the flashing track pattern slot. As soon as the global quantum cycle ends, the scheduled track pattern starts and fits perfectly into the beat. Beat safe pattern changes. First, let's answer a basic question. What are beat safe pattern changes? If you do a pattern change with a short click to a slot while the sequence is running, then the change will actually be scheduled to the end of the currently running pattern. In this case, the new selected pattern slot changes to the pre-selected state. It gets a yellow border. It keeps this state until the currently running pattern ends. Once the currently playing pattern ends, the new pre-selected one gets selected and started. Pattern changes of any kind, also when selecting a scene or when loading scenes or projects, are always either beat safe or quantum safe. A little later, we will see in detail the quantum safe pattern changes. Advanced pattern changes. In addition to the normal single click pattern changes, there are two advanced pattern change types, which can be activated with multiple consecutive clicks on the same destination slot. First click on the destination slot, yellow border. The known behavior as we just mentioned a few moments ago. The current pattern continues until its end and then changes to the beginning of the destination pattern. Alternatively, you can initiate this pattern change using the pattern slot menu. Second click on the destination slot, blue border. The current pattern continues until the end of the current bar position and then changes to the beginning of the destination pattern. Once again, alternatively, you can initiate this pattern change using the pattern slot menu. Third, click on the destination slot, green border. The current pattern continues until the end of the current bar position and then changes to the destination pattern while keeping the position, instead of setting it to the start. E.g., you have a set of two four bar patterns. Start on slot 1 and then click three times on slot 2 while the first bar is running, so that it gets a green border. At the end of bar 1, it changes to slot 2 and continues on bar 2. And as in the previous cases, an alternative way is you can initiate this pattern change using the pattern slot menu. Pattern change chain mode. The pattern change chain mode allows you to chain multiple pattern changes in a row. In other words, you can pre-select an unlimited amount of upcoming pattern changes, and they will be executed in the exact order and type that you have defined. Long press lock patterns to enable the pattern change chain mode. The yellow border indicates that it is enabled. With the chain mode enabled, simply tap the slots in the order and the pattern change type you want them to be executed. That way you can enter a quick sequence in a live situation, which gives you time to tweak parameters on the other screens while the pre-selected pattern slots changes are executed. Pattern Lock Mode The Pattern Lock Mode is used to prevent patterns in the pattern set from being permanently changed during live sessions. In live situations, it's often the case you want to make real-time changes to particular patterns. By default, without pattern lock, all the changes are directly applied to the actual pattern in the pattern set. This is appropriate when you build or edit patterns, but in a live situation, you probably just want to tweak the sounds without permanently changing the actual patterns. Pattern lock covers exactly this situation. If lock patterns is enabled, you can make changes to the currently running pattern without affecting the actual pattern in the underlying track pattern set. As soon as you select a different pattern slot, or if you switch off the lock patterns, all changes you made will be discarded. This is very useful if you want to jam live across multiple patterns, but want to keep the underlying track pattern sets intact. An important suggestion, if you come to a situation where you want to keep a sound set or VAB's preset while lock patterns is enabled, just save it as a new sound set or a VAB's preset. Please also note that the lock patterns will be automatically deactivated if you copy, swap or clear track pattern contents, if you load, import or clear a scene or project, and if you export a project on multiple scenes as audio or MIDI. Quick Track Pattern Set Navigator 
The Quick Track Pattern Set Navigator is a quick access to all the basic track pattern set operations, including long press menu. It allows you to switch between different patterns in a track pattern set without navigating to the mixer and using the main track pattern set UI. It is attached as a secondary long press action to the mixer button in the sidebar, while on the detail pages of the particular instrument or module. You can interact with this functionality in the following ways. Long press the mixer button in the sidebar, opens the quick track pattern set navigator. Short click the banks or slots to switch between the patterns. Long click the pattern slots to show up the pattern slot menu. In addition to the track pattern sets, G Stomper Producer provides a scene set with up to 64 scenes. Each scene references to the track patterns of a specific track pattern slot in every track. More specifically, if you select the scene A1, then you actually select the track pattern A1 in the all existing tracks. That is, all drum sampler tracks, all VAB synth tracks, the send FX track, the master track and the tempo track. Each scene in a scene set is stored in one of 64 of the scene slots, which are organised in four banks of 16, A, B, C and D. To switch between the different scenes, simply click one of the scene slots. This action is called a scene change. A point. If you do scene changes while the sequencer is running, then the particular track pattern changes will actually be scheduled, either per track to the end of its currently running pattern, or to the end of the currently running global quantum cycle, depending on your preferred default setting. While selecting a new track pattern just changes a single instrument or module, Selecting a scene changes the complete musical setup, similar to a pattern change in G-Stomper Studio. An interesting point for users of G-Stomper Studio, you can actually see a G-Stomper producer scene as something similar to a G-Stomper Studio pattern just with totally loosely coupled and independent tracks, each running an independent track sequencer with an independent timing. A scene set can contain a maximum of 64 scenes, four banks of 16, which can be switched by tapping one of the 16 scene slot buttons. To switch between the banks, click on A, B, C or D. The highlighted or selected scene slot tells you which scene is currently active. A highlighted scene slot will only exist if the selected patterns in the particular track pattern sets are ambiguous. Scene A1, for example, is only highlighted if the track pattern A1 is selected in all track pattern sets. The scene slot menu provides all operations for a particular scene slot. Long press a scene slot to open the scene slot menu. Tap with the selected scene number. When we are showing the scene slot menu of the chosen scene, in its first tab labelled with the selected scene number, we can find the following options depending on whether the sequencer is running or stopped. Select each track at the end of its running pattern. Running sequencer schedules each track pattern change at the end of the running track pattern. Stop sequencer executes the track pattern change immediately. Select at the end of the running global quantum cycle. Running sequencer schedules each track pattern change at the end of the running global quantum cycle. Stop sequencer executes each track pattern change immediately. It is very important to keep in mind that the yellow border on one menu button indicates that this action is being used by default when you just short click on a scene slot in normal operation without the menu. Long press one of the menu buttons to use that particular action as default when tapping a scene slot. Tab load. In the load tab we find the following options. Load scene, 
load an existing scene into the selected scene. Load factory sound set. Load a sound set provided by the G Stomper app into the selected scene. Load user sound set. Load one of your own sound sets into the selected scene. To load a sound set provided by an add-on pack, long press user sound set. Tab Save. In the Save tab, we find the following options. Save Scene, Save the Selected Scene. Save User Sound Set, Save the Sound Set of the Selected Scene. Tab Copy. In the Copy tab, we find the following options. Copy Scene, Selective Content. Copy the complete scene or a selective content, multiple choice. To another scene slots. Swap Scenes, Selective Content. Swap the complete scene or selective content, multiple choice. another scene slot. Tab clear. In the clear tab we find the following options. Clear scene, selective content. Clear the complete scene or selective content, multiple choice. Clear scene sequence. Clear or sequence data of the selected scene, main sequence and parameter automations. But keep the sound presets. Samples including settings, synthesizer presets. Tab Import. Finally, in the Import tab, you'll find the following options GSS Pattern as Scene. Import an existing G Stomper Studio Pattern as Scene. GSR Pattern as Scene. Import an existing G Stomper Rhythm Pattern as Scene. VAB Pattern as Scene. Import an existing G Stomper VABs pattern as seen. Live Scene Arranger. The Live Scene Arranger will be used to switch between the different scenes while the global sequencer is running. A switch from one scene to another is called a scene change. A scene change occurs when you tap on one of the scene slots, load a scene from your storage. or copy a scene from one scene slot to another. Swap a scene slot with another one. Snapshot the currently running setup to a new scene. If you do scene changes while the sequencer is running, then the particular track pattern changes will actually be scheduled, either per track to the end of the currently running pattern, or to the end of the currently running global quantum cycle, depending on your preferred default setting. In other words, you'll never run into abrupt beat changes. Snapshot Scene Use this feature to take a snapshot of the currently selected patterns and copy them into a new scene. This is useful if you found a good sounding combination of patterns from different scenes and want to store them as a new scene for later use. To take a snapshot of the currently running pattern tracks, simply press the snapshot button. Then press the destination scene slot to store the new scene into. As a matter of course, you can take scene snapshots while the sequencer is running. Beat safe scene changes. What are beat safe scene changes? 
If you do scene changes while the sequencer is running, then the particular track pattern changes will actually be scheduled per track to the end of its current running pattern. This implies of course only if you have set select each track at end of its running pattern as default action while tapping the pattern slot. In this case, a newly selected scene slot changes to a pre-selected state. It gets a yellow border. It keeps this state until all resulting pattern changes are complete. Quantum save scene changes. What are quantum save scene changes? If you do scene changes while the sequence is running, then the particular track pattern changes will actually be scheduled at the end of the currently running global quantum cycle. This applies of course only if you have set select at the end of the running global quantum cycle as default action whilst tapping a pattern slot. In this case, the new selected scene slot changes to the pre-selected state and gets a yellow border. It keeps this state until all resulting pattern changes are complete. In this case, until the end of the currently running global quantum cycle. Scene changes of any kind, also when loading scenes or projects, are always either beat safe or quantum safe, depending on your preferred default setting. In other words, you'll never run into abrupt beat changes. Quick Scene Set Navigator The Quick Scene Set Navigator is a quick access to all the basic scene set operations, including the long press menu. It allows you to switch between different scenes in a scene set without navigating to the mixer and using the main scene set UI. It is attached as a secondary long press action to the main menu button. To open the Quick Scene Set Navigator, long press the main menu. Once the menu is shown, we can interact with it through the following actions. Short click the banks slots to switch between the scenes. Long click the scene slots to show up the scene slot menu. We have come to the end of this video in which you've seen all operations and functionalities relating to the track pattern set and scene set in GStomper Producer. If you liked the video, click on like. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on social networks to stay up to date with new videos about G Stomper Producer. See you next time!